Okay, first let's talk about what is, where, what is inflammation. There are many, many diseases, like about 400 of them, that end in ITIS, itis, like meningitis or pancreatitis. So any disease that ends in ITIS is an inflammatory disease, and there's literally one for every tissue in the body. When you have inflammation in a tissue, you get an itis word. But there's some others that are also inflammatory that don't end in itis. Lupus, which is an autoimmune condition. Um, uh, osteoporosis, which begins with inflammation. Alzheimer's, which begins with inflammation. Atherosclerosis, which begins with inflammation. Many cancers, which begin with inflammation. Diabetes, with, which begins with inflammation. And the, out of the essential fatty acids, the body makes very powerful anti-inflammatories. And also, inflammation comes from acidity, and, and essential fatty acids improve oxygen metabolism. Oxygen is very, very alkaline. Carbon dioxide is acidic. Anything that improves circulation, and omega-3s will do that. The, 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 the blood moves more smoothly through the blood vessels will uh, increase the ability to get alkaline oxygen into the tissues and acidic carbon dioxide out of the tissues. So they do it in a, in a number of ways. Improve circulation, increase oxygen metabolism, the body makes anti-inflammatory molecules out of them, and so in a number of different ways. If you have more energy, you're going to be active more, that builds your circulation too. So in a number of different ways, uh, essential fatty acids, when they're not damaged, when you get them both in, ad, in optimum amounts and in the right ratio, will, uh, can improve inflammation. Now, again, not, uh, essential fatty acids are not the only thing whose deficiency causes inflammation. There are other reasons for inflammation, like infectious organisms. And again, the reason to take the oil is not because it will fix your inflammation. You want to take it because every cell needs it. It's essential for the functioning of every cell in the body. And then anything that, any inflammation that comes from not getting enough of these two essential fatty acids will, get, will be reversed by optimizing intake of essential fatty acids. Nothing else, any inflammation that comes from other reasons will require a different thing to, inf to, to uh, reverse it. But since essential fatty acids are too low in most people's diets and every cell needs them for health anyway, people should be taking them whether they have inflammation or not. And the people who have inflammation to the extent that that comes from not enough omega-3 and omega-6 will re be reversed because life knows how to do that if we bring in, take responsibility for bringing in and optimizing the essential building blocks that life needs to do that.